హలో గైస్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు సింప్లీ లాజికల్ దిస్ ఇస్ వెంకటేష్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎ టార్చ్ దట్ టేక్స్ టూ వర్కింగ్ బ్యాటరీస్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎయిట్ బ్యాటరీస్ బట్ ఓన్లీ ఫోర్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ వర్క్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఫ్యూవెస్ట్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ పేట్స్ యూ నీడ్ టు టెస్ట్ టు గ్యారంటీ యూ కెన్ గెట్ ద టార్చ్ ఆన్ సో లెట్ మీ రిపీట్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎ టార్చ్ దట్ టేక్స్ టూ వర్కింగ్ బ్యాటరీస్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎయిట్ బ్యాటరీస్ బట్ ఓన్లీ ఫోర్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ వర్క్ what is the fewest number of pages you need to test to guarantee you can get the torch on so this problem does definitely raise a lot of confusions in the mind about the approach required to solve the problem with the correct answer in fewer number of pages i will present you the most efficient way to get the correct answer pause the video and give it a try before checking the solution and do not forget to comment if you found something interesting If you are new to the channel do subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so that you do not miss any of our videos. Let's check the solution. Let's call the batteries as B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7 and B8. Torch will work when both the batteries are working. It will not work if any of the battery is faulty. With the best case if we take two pairs of batteries and put them in slot 1 and slot 2 test them out if working then fine else take another two and test them out and continue doing so till you get the correct pair if you are lucky in these four turns torch will work but let's say we were most unlucky and it did not work all the four times also the whole objective is to find the solution for worst case scenario and not for the best case now let's group the batteries in two group of four there can be these cases in group of four if all four batteries are working then take any pair and we will get working battery in just one chance if only three batteries are working we will get working batteries in max two picks if only two batteries are working scenario becomes tricky because this will open up multiple possibilities and you end up in more iteration to find the pair to switch on torch if only one battery is working in the group then scenario becomes more complex hence grouping batteries in two group with four batteries each is not the correct approach now i will explain the most efficient way of finding the solution for this puzzle we know that out of the eight batteries only four are in working condition we need two good batteries to run let's try to divide the eight batteries in a group of 3 where group 1 and group 2 contains three batteries and group 3 contains two batteries by grouping the batteries like this we are making sure that at least one of the group has two working batteries this is because there are four working batteries and only three groups present going through logic there must be at least two working batteries in any of the groups Also by grouping like this we are reducing the number of combinations required to find the working pair for the battery. So this is the logic for this particular puzzle. So now let's find how many combinations are possible for each group. Let's go one by one. In group 1 which consisting of B1, B2, B3 possible combinations are B1, B2, B2, B3 or B1, B3. Hence total combinations in group 1 is 3. In group 2, B4, B5, B6, possible combinations are B4, B5, B5, B6 or B4, B6. Again in this particular group the total combinations possible is 3. Finally in group 3, B7, B8, possible combinations is only 1. So the total combinations in group 3 is 1. We know that at least one of the groups has two working batteries. By logic, any one of these combinations must work. So adding all the combinations in all three groups, it will yield 7. Hence, most number of trials needed is 7. So let's summarize. Break the batteries into three groups with two groups of three batteries and one group of two batteries. By doing this, you are guaranteed that one of the groups has two working batteries. Both of the groups of 3 have three possible combinations of two batteries and the group of 2 only has one combination. So 3 plus 3 plus 1 which equals to 7 tries at most to find two working batteries. See any logical problems if you approach in the right direction puzzle will become very easy. 
that's all for this video if you have not understood the solution do watch again and if you have any doubts do comment i will try to reply as soon as possible and i will try to clarify whatever the confusions you have with respect to the logic thanks for watching let's meet in the next video with one more exciting puzzle thank you